This next speaker is the founder for A Voice for Choice. Her name is Christina Hildebrand. She is passionate about ensuring that people know what they are putting into their bodies, be it what is in their food, air, water, or medications. For the past 10 years, Christina has spent over 10,000 hours researching and sharing her knowledge of vaccines. The first half of this year, she spent mostly, uh, most Mondays through Wednesdays lobbying legislature, legislators, and I can attest to that. Uh, I live in Sacramento, I saw her all the time. Uh, opposing the vaccine mandate bills. Help me thank her for that work and welcome her. We, and when I say we, I mean us sitting here in Oakland, those of us in California, those of us in the US, and those of us in the whole world, we are in trouble. And I say that in a somber way to make us think about what, what are we doing to ourselves? What are we doing to our world and our people? And it goes beyond Oakland, it goes beyond California, and it goes beyond the United States. The vaccine issue is one issue, and the CDC is one piece of it. I spent this last Sunday through Tuesday, Wednesday, in Minneapolis at the Health Freedom Congress with Diane Miller. Um, if any of you know Diane Miller, she is a lawyer and she is a huge, huge fighter in our cause on vaccines. Um, and I spent the first, I spent those three days with people who are fighting for health freedom. And health freedom comes with vaccines and getting rid of them. It comes with GMOs and getting rid of them. It comes with fluoridation and getting rid of that. It comes with chemtrails, they're out today, and getting rid of that. But it comes with everything that big pharma and big agriculture puts down on us, us and mandates us or tells us or infiltrates. And what I realized in those three days was that we, we, we need to come together. And that is the vaccine people, the GMO people, the fluoridation people, because until we fight as a group, we will never be able to overcome big pharma and big ag as they rule us here in the US. Diane Miller started off one of her talks this week, and I, I, it's fresh in my mind, which is why I'm mentioning it, but she started off with one of her talks with a quote which really sunk in, and she said, with the passing of the California mandates, the, governor, the government and the pharmaceutical companies have penetrated our skin barrier, and their money now flows through our veins. And I think, you know, that really hit me hard and was, I don't think it's just vaccines. Look at the number of pharmaceutical drugs that our country is on, on a day-to-day -day basis. And we really need to rise up and fight. We need to fight the CDC. We need to get the truth out there. We need to fight the FDA. Um, we need to fight government. Um, you know, we've been doing this in the last six months. Many of you came up to Sacramento and it was amazing to see the passion and the emotion of all of us. We've got to keep it going. We've got to keep educating. Um, and I would say, you know, the education piece of this is probably the most important piece, and it's the piece that every one of us can do every day. If you can save one person and one child every day, then you've done something. I've, it, before January, I didn't talk about vaccines to random people. <laughs> I went and I talked to local people who were doing hypnobirths, who were doing, you know, who were already on our side. I now sit in Starbucks and a mom walks in who's pregnant, or a mom comes in, two moms are talking about vaccines, and I go over there and I start talking to them. That's not something that I ever did before this. <laughs> It's not something that most of you probably ever did, and some of you may not do it yet, but I put out 
I've, I've put out a request to all of you. Spread the word. Tell people the truth, because without you, it won't get out there. We have to do it one by one, by one, by one, and we will get there. We have to take charge of our own bodies. Um, Tony Bark mentioned this at the Atlanta CDC rally today. We have to be responsible for what we put into our own bodies. And when I say us, most of us here already do that. But we have to make other people, the people who don't know, the people, you know, we have speakers here today saying we know better. We know better, we do. But they don't know better yet. And we need to show them that. Thank you. Um, we can't be the victims of these big government agencies and even the small government agencies. We have to continue to fight. So on a one-on-one -on -one level, get out there, just talk to people, don't be afraid. What are they gonna do to you? They think you're a crazy anti-vaxxer. We've been there, we've done that. We were up in Sacramento doing that. Get out there, tell people. And also, if you can, step up and step out into those legislative or those those community gatherings and and uh you know things like school boards ptas if we can get ourselves in there and just even if it's just talking about health freedom even if we never get elected but if we can get ourselves into those places we need to show them that we're here and we are here to stay we are not going away. Thank you.